So when David and Heidi Fields had their son 17 years ago, they were optimistic things could somehow work out. However, the diagnosis was difficult. They may not have known then, but they do know now. You see, their boy Josh was not going to be denied his dreams. With the help of photographer Randy Schwenker, we give you tonight's Spotlight Story. It's a scene that happens every day. A 17-year-old blind boy with his cane leaving school. And when you see it, you feel sorry for him. But after you watch where he goes next, you realize there's no reason to feel sorry for Josh Fields. I don't feel like what I have is nearly as bad as some other people that have disabilities. The doctor entered the room right after Josh was born with the news. I knew something was up the moment I saw him because his eyes were just so swollen. Um, he came in, he said, be prepared to raise a blind child. It's a sucker punch. It was just complete shock, really. We just decided we were going to raise a, a, a human being, not a blind human being. The official diagnosis was congenital glaucoma. Dr. Michael Jones has been a practicing eye surgeon for 20 years. When you're losing vision from glaucoma, you're losing your field of vision, and it's sometimes hard for us to imagine what it would be like to live in a world where you had tunnel vision. You literally cannot see anything outside of that 10 degree island of vision. So it's, it's very disturbing to, to someone. Now, if you've had it long enough, you can make adjustments to it to learn to live with it. And that's what Josh has done so well. At Metro East Lutheran High School, he made his font bigger on his laptop and has a letter-perfect 4.0 grade point average. He set the national record throwing the shot put and won five gold medals at the Paralympics in Colorado this summer. Go, Josh, go, 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 go! We're so proud of him, so proud of him. Um, he's been athletic from the get-go. I'm not a blind person, I'm a person who happens to be blind. And he also happens to be a very skilled forward for the St. Louis Blues Blind Hockey Club. Josh's love for the sport happened when his dad took him to his first Blues game as a 10-year-old. His eyes just blew up when he saw the ice. I mean, I mean, literally, he just, you could see him go, oh. I don't really know how it happened, but like, I just, I've loved the sport ever since then. Like, just being there, it felt right. Just like the transition to actually playing the game, the pucks have eight ball bearings to make them sound loud. They're also about three times the size of a regular puck. But remember, Josh has about 10% of his vision. For us to understand that concept, but if we bring this up, and you can see through there how difficult that would be to function like that. I can see it from about 15, 20 feet away. Other than that, I have to rely on like hearing where the puck is and locating it with like using the vision that I have along with my hearing. The perfect student may not be able to see, but he does have a keen vision for his future, first in athletics. To get in the Paralympics for para track and field, as well as the Paralympics for blind hockey whenever it becomes a Paralympic sport. And then the job. Managing a sports team, preferably hockey, but if that's not in the cards, then we'll figure out whatever other sport works. Josh Fields, he's really not doing this to motivate people. But he has. He doesn't like to be called an inspiration because it's just normal for him. But he inspires me. He's just the young man who could have complained but never did. There's no time for that. There's too much to do with his life. And his disability will never get in the way. No, I won't. Because if I do that, then I'm letting the people that say that I can't do anything win. And I don't want to do that. Mm -hmm.